This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. To see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Let's begin the sample. Before Windows Server 2016, if we wanted to run the Hyper-V role and run virtual machines, we would have to run it on a physical host. So we could not have a virtual machine, and then on that virtual machine, like install Windows Server 2016 as the guest operating system, and then install Hyper-V on that virtual machine, and run virtual machines on that virtual machine. But now we can do that. It's called nested virtualization. And in order to do it, we got to configure a few things first. So I'm on my physical host here. That's Hyper-V01. Got my virtual machine CT02. Let's go to the settings. If I go to memory, we're going to need to disable dynamic memory. And then also in my network adapter, go to advanced features. We're going to need to enable MAC address spoofing. So we can do that here in the GUI, or we can do it via PowerShell here. Let's just open up a PowerShell prompt as an administrator. So to disable uh, virtual or dynamic memory, we can use this command set dash VM memory, dynamic memory enabled. It was false, and we're doing it on the virtual machine CT02. And also with the network adapters, we can use get dash network adapter VM name CT02. So it's getting all the network adapters set dash VM network adapter MAC address spoofing on. So it's turning it on for all the network adapters that are on this virtual machine. And then the next command that we have to do via PowerShell is set dash VM processor, again, minus VM name or CT02, expose virtualization extensions. We're going to set that to true. Warning, nested virtualization is unsupported feature, a preview feature, but it, it is supported once server 2016 gets released. And when server 2016 is released, it isn't as of yet, uh, Things that should be supported are creating and applying checkpoints with the, those nested virtual machines, so the virtual machines that we create inside the virtual machine. We can also save and start nested enabled VMs, but still some limitations are going to be that dynamic memory is not compatible with nested virtualization. Once Hyper-V is running inside a VM, the VM cannot change its memory at runtime, so that's why we need to disable it here with the dynamic memory disabled. And as of the making of this movie, uh, nested virtualization is only possible with Intel systems. In particular, it needs an Intel processor with VTX and EPT technology. So now that we've configured this virtual machine, we can go ahead and power it on. And you notice I set the uh, assigned memory to uh, 8,000 megabytes. Since we're going to be running a virtual machine inside this virtual machine, I'm going to give it a little bit more memory. All right, now let's go ahead and connect to it. Okay, we're on the virtual, this is the virtual machine, CT02. Let's go to Manage, Add Roles and Features. Let's click Next, Next. We want our CT02 computer, click Next. And we're going to check the box for Hyper-V. Let's go ahead and add the features. And that's where it would normally fail, but since we can do nested virtualization, it works. Let's go ahead and click Next, Next again. Next again, if I want to create the virtual switch right now, I could. I'll just go ahead and create one. That's fine. Let's go ahead and click Next. Could configure our options, just like a you know, Hyper-V host, a normal Hyper-V host. Okay, the installation is complete. We'll need to go ahead and restart. So I'll just right-click and restart. Virtual machine will restart. Okay, the reboot's complete. I'll go ahead and log in. All right, so again, I'm on that virtual machine here, Tools, Hyper-V Manager. And there it is. So now we can create a new virtual machine, run that virtual machine just like if it was a physical Hyper-V host. Uh, let's see, test VM01, but this is actually a virtual machine. I'll just create one real quick. And we can go ahead and power it on. And I can connect to it. Again, just like it was on a physical host.